Hi there. In this section, you are going to learn about the different type of functions that we use in mathematics. So let's begin. So the first function that we are going to talk about is identity function. So let's first define the identity function. Let R be the set of real numbers then for real valued function fx such that fx is equal to x where x belongs to real number R is called identity function. In order to understand the identity function, what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider a table and then I will consider some real values of x and then we will find the values of the function. So this is my table where the first column is x, which is basically the domain of the function and the second column is fx, which is basically the range of the function. So the first value that I'm taking is negative 3. So for x equals to negative 3, fx is negative 3. For x equals to negative 2, fx is negative 2. For negative 1, fx is negative 1. For x equals to 0, fx is 0. For x equals to 1, fx is 1. For x equals to 2, fx is 2. And for x equals to 3, fx is 3. So basically, you can take any number of value. So basically, the first column represent the domain of the function and the second column represent the range of the function. In order to understand the identity function graphically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to graph the function. So this is my graph. Let this will be my x-axis. Let this is y-axis. And now, let's graph the x and y values which is basically the domain and range of the function and if i do that i will get a straight line which will be this line and the equation of this line is fx equals to x and this is basically the identity function the reason why we call it identity function because the value of the function is same as the value of x 